Uh, welcome back, everyone. I just, uh, spent a few minutes, uh, getting back that love key. And we'll definitely be using that tonight. Mm-mm-mm. It didn't take nearly as long as I thought, so, eh. Might as record, uh, it's the same day, so might as well keep recording, right? I can record for a few more minutes. I say a few more minutes, I end up recording for the next, like, five hours. Jesus. This game's really, really addicting. Kaido. Oh, Shuichi, what's the matter? Should I hang out with him? Yes. Yeah, I don't mind talking, but... My stomach hurts a little. Can we talk uh, somewhere I can rest? Yeah, sure, buddy. I spent some time with Kaido. Didn't he say his stomach hurt last night, too? I hope he's okay. He's gonna fucking die. Kaido and I grew a little closer today. Yes. Don't know what I'm gonna give him, but... <laughs> it's probably something. <laughs> I'm not giving that love key, though. Fuck you. Uh, perfect laser gun. Used by abstaining to punish rebellious and unhappy people when carrying this around. Be sure to watch your coefficient. Yeah, I don't know if that's what, something he'd enjoy. Work share of doom. Those who sit here will be in danger of becoming obese. I don't know if he'd like that. Ernest Compass. North of the North and instead points to the owner's loved one. A must have for stalkers. God damn, I'd give that to me. Fuck. That would have been perfect for. Holy shit. Uh, Watercock of Barcelos. I have no idea what I'd give him. Like, no idea. At all. Workout clothes. Sure. Let's give this to him. Oh, that's pretty interesting. It's almost perfect gift for a luminary of the stars. You're on the right path. Thank Christ. Man, when we can can we get out of this place? I'm missing too much training. Yeah, that's true. But since we're here, uh, aren't you glad we you met me? Glad I met you? Well, I guess Kaido has saved me before, but... There's nothing to be embarrassed about it. Just be proud that you're my sidekick. Sidekick. I've got quite the record. I could even be called the ultimate hero. Your record? What do you mean? To tell you the truth, I've had a number of sidekicks in the past. How have they died? I'm only an astronaut trainee, but in other fields, my name is Legend. Oh, really? For example, the star rookie in the Major League, he used to be my sidekick. What? The engineer who won the Nobel Prize, he also used to be my sidekick. That one engineer. I even showed our current Prime Minister the ropes of politics. Oh yeah, in that pop sensation, I told her, taught her how to sing and dance. I see. I don't know about this. Some of these people are older than Kaido. That's how I only nudge them in the right direction. Don't doubt yourself. You just gotta follow the path you believe in. If you're lost, I'll believe in you. If you get scared, I'll help you. Yeah. And with just a nudge, a person can change. They can break out of their shell. And it's a real man that gives them the encouragement they need. It's true. Even if it's just one person, anyone would be encouraged by that. But that one person has to be special. It has to be someone like Kaido. No. If you want to talk about something, don't hesitate. We'll talk it out. Your worry is my worry. My worry is your worry. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, thank you. Kaido is always so honest and approachable. He's willing to help with the, uh, help you with anything. Only someone like Kaido could help me. Only someone like him could help, tell me what I need to hear. Ah, never mind. I shouldn't die, be talking about another boy like that. Jesus, dude. Keep it in your pants. He's great and all, but he's not that great. Kaido and I went our separate ways and returned to my room. I'm going to save. At the earliest possible convenience, just in case my luck runs out. Doorbell, is it Kaido or Maki looking for me? Do, 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 do. Saving, saving, saving. Let's go. Anything? <laughs> no, oh, no coins, fuck. Oh, me, you. Hello. Jesus, I didn't know I used my love hotel key already. 
Now, what about Gooichi? Spooichi? Well, whatever, pick any nickname you want. Mew, what are you doing here? I figured me and the twins could swing by and pay your virgin ass a visit. Visit, got a boner yet? The twins? What are you doing here? Who cares? What am I doing here? Cheer up! Thanks to me, you get to leave this confining place. We can escape? Just come to the computer room on the fourth floor of the academy. But there's no rush, so if you want to rub one out while you think about me, you got time. But you better bring the crusty tissues afterward. I mean, we can just erase the middleman here and we just fuck. Despite what she's saying, she doesn't sound all that serious. But I shouldn't just ignore her. Computer room on the fourth floor. I swear to God, if I bought this key and I can't use it, I'll be, I'm gonna be a little pissed. I'll be a little pissed. I'm not gonna lie. I spent time grinding for that key. Shut up, Himiko. I swear to Christ, I bought this love hotel key, uh, hotel, hotel key. I'm going to use it. Oh, motherfuckers, I'm not going to be able to use it. As I suspected, everyone was brought here. Don't act all depressed just because he didn't get to spend any alone time with me. I'm a little depressed. Do I look depressed to you? Yes, I am. You can't see my face, but I'm very upset right now because I spent time to get that love key. There's no way we wouldn't show up when we were told there's a chance to escape. I still think it smells fishy. Really, doesn't it smell like something fun It's gonna happen instead? You always seem to show up for stuff like this. I've got you figured out. Thanks, the key to a mutual friendship is understanding each other. So what's this way for getting uh, way for getting out of here? It's going to be going into the video game. Is there really a way? Or Neo World Program? Da doy! Of course there is! Geniuses like me never make mistakes. So, how are we gonna escape? We're gonna go to another world. A world where th with no killing games and no Monokuma. Another world. Oh, you wanna know, huh? Do ya? I'll tell you if you bow to me on your knees now. Why? When Shuichi and Kaide bowed to me, it sort of awoke something in me. Now hurry the fuck up and bow to me, you masochistic shit. Shouldn't you be the one bowing down to us? You want us to listen, right? Then get down on your knees and beg like a dog. What the hell is that? Weird? Isn't that weird? Everyone's wasting their precious time on a worthless piece of trash like you. I'm going to beat the fucking shit. Do you want to be fucking crucified, buddy? So you better bow down and beg. Come on, hurry it up. Why? I stayed up all night getting this ready for everyone. Okay then, everyone, let's go. I swear to Christ. What the hell? What the hell is this artwork? Shuiji, I'm gonna, not Shuiji. Oma, I'm gonna crucify you. I actually feel sorry for her. Hey, let's at least hear her out. Did you hear that, Mia? Good for you. How long are you going to be depressed for, you sow? Hurry off and sell, tell a squid breath. Yes, sir. So when I said another world, I was talking about this big-ass computer. What's this? This is a device connected to the computer that you put on your head. It uploads your consciousness to, so you can go to a world created by a computer program. A world created by a computer program? Oh, got to understand. Matrix. Exit is in that com computer box, so we uh, got to break it open and go in. <laughs> now, if you try to force your way in, you'll just destroy it. Mm -hmm. You mean this virtual reality? This is virtual reality, right? <laughs> it's more than just virtual reality, it's a virtual world. Because your consciousness will be able to move around as if you're in the real world. <gasps> oh, it's the Matrix. I saw a movie about that sort of thing on TV when I was little. Yes. All right, now let's go. Go, like, to the virtual world? Yeah, let's all go together. No way. What, why? You promised that we'd all come to the, at the same time. God damn. I didn't promise you anything. What are you talking about? Just in case, I should ask a question. What's gonna happen to our consciousness when we're inside the computer? Oh, so we use avatars as our new bodies to link to our consciousness to the virtual world. How do you know this? You told me already. 
I helped her prepare our trip to the virtual world. I brought all our seats here. In exchange, I made her tell me the reason. So it was the... what the apology was. That's what the apology was. Oh, what are you guys talking about? What's this avatar? They're characters that will represent you while you're in the virtual world. I swear. He's going to screw this up. Oma is. And he's probably not going to be the one with blood on his hands. So that means I can kill him. In other words, this computer will transfer our consciousness from our bodies. And shove them into avatars inside the virtual world. And then... We'll have new bodies in a new world. A world without murder and Monokuma. What happens to our real bodies? Your body will basically be asleep for the duration that session sense. It'll be like a dream. Alright, let's go. Like I said, we're not you going. It's definitely dangerous. If Miyu made it, I'm fine. Oma touched it. Yeah, I'm hesitant. Shut the fuck up, donkey lips. I'm telling you, it's not fucking dangerous. Saying that makes it even more dangerous. Sound. What the? Am I really that untrustworthy? Well, then we'll be relieved to know that I didn't even create this virtual world. Someone else made it, apparently. What? Someone else? What do you mean, someone else? Hey, Mia, who made the virtual world? Oh, god damn it. That's right, it was me! I knew it. Oh, god damn it. I just want to go to sleep so I can use this little hotel key. Oh, daddy, you really can do anything. Daddy, which one is my daddy? Him, he's my daddy. No, I am not. Now then, allow me to explain. I used a certain program as a template to create the virtual world. And that program is the Killing Game Simulator. Killing Game Simulator. Well, with that, I've made up my mind. I definitely won't go in there now. Wait, I said wait, damn it. If Monokuma made it, dangerous for sure. I pulled an all-nighter investigating and I deleted everything dangerous from it. It's definitely safe, I swear. There's no need to worry, it's just a simulator, right? No, this is Monokuma we're talking about. It may not even be a real simulator. Daddy's right. Hey, whose side are you on? I am not your daddy. How cruel, why not accept him as your child for now? For now, I can't play along. He's not even my child. I'm not stuck with child support for 18 years. You guys are only bitching because you haven't been into the virtual world yet. Once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then you're gonna fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. I'm already in love with you, let's be real here. So let's just dive to get, uh, dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. Hey, if no one else wants to go, I'll fucking go. Fuck it, right? It's a world that Monokuma created, right? If you don't want to dive in, you can just dip the tip. Oh, just the tip, okay. <laughs> That's all you need right there, baby girl. The tip of what? But you just said you pulled an all-nighter and adjusting everything right, me you. So that means it was originally a killing game simulator. Not anymore, but yeah. Yeah, that's right. I rewrote the program to delete all the dangerous objects that would be used as weapons. That's what a good mommy would do. Mommy? What's this weird sensation in my chest? Is this what it feels like to be a mom? Well, her uh, fantasy was of uh, being stuffed with children. Let's be real here. Hey, let's trust Miyu. We should trust in our friends more anyway. God, he's going to kill someone. Or have someone kill someone. Or have a glitch in there that kills someone. He's gonna be a dick. Why are you on Miyu's side? I'm not taking your side. It's not like I have a feeling we'll fi find something in that world. Something? I mean, Monokuma created this world, right? Maybe he laid a bait to lure us in. Like a super duper crazy hidden secret hidden in that, uh, secret hidden in that world. A secret? <laughs> well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Uh? Oh, bait, yeah, of course I have. Uh... Really? Is this the first time I've heard of it? Uh! Me too. Eh? Mommy's hearing this for the first time too. Oh my god, yes. Uh! She accepted him? So, so. Like Kokichi said, that's a crazy se there's a crazy secret hidden, secret hidden somewhere in the virtual world. It's the secret of the outside world. Uh? Secret of the outside world? Uh. All I can tell you about the secret is that if you get your hands on it, you'll instantly learn what's happening outside of the academy. Hold on, what's happening outside? What are you talking about? 
It's like he's saying something is going on out there, but that can't be... That can't be right. That can't be, right? Do you think it has to do with those meteorites? Is your curiosity peaked? And then you have no choice but to go. Yeah, we want to know. So we'll definitely go. Kukichi, what's going on? Did you know about this all along? That Monokuma is hiding a secret in the virtual world. Don't joke around like that. It's just a hunch. Anyway, we can't ignore it. It... It's possible we might find info on the outside world. Maybe with that info, we could even put an end to the killing game. Huh? We can end killing game? You don't want to. Right? Then Ganta will go. Ganta will go to this virtual world place. Wait, you can't. It's probably a trap set by Monokuma. But if there's a small chance that we can stop the killing game, we should take it. Yes, that's what my inner voice is telling me. Are you still say, talking about your inner voice? We are already sick of all that Atua stuff. As I've mentioned before, this has nothing to do with Angie's influence. Whenever I'm lost, my inner voice tells me what to do. I have always obeyed that voice and I will continue to do so. That's why I'm going to the virtual world. Then I'm going to. You too, Kaido? Yeah, the secret of the outside world stuff worries me, but I want to check this world out. Called a man's curiosity. The idiot's at it again. When a man loses his curiosity, he ages. Curiosity is what moves a man. You can stop talking now, but I guess I'll be i will be an idiot too. Oh, wait, you're going too, Maki? Of course. You're coming along, right, Sh Shuichi? And don't say no because it's dangerous. We've been in danger for a while now. That's true. My ability is to gather information and uh, evidence and reveal the truth. So I can't run away from this. Alright, I'll go too. But why is definitely going to be dangerous? No matter how dangerous it gets, we just have to do it. Fine, I'll go too. Being left behind just makes me worry. Okay. And everyone except Sumigi is going. Wait, if everyone is going is gonna go, I will too. <laughs> okay, now everyone's going. Cookie Cherry pointing something. <laughs> of course not. After Kaido punched me, I became a changed man. Fuck you. He's gonna have someone get killed. Because again, he's just not the type to bloody his hands. He's a son of a bitch that will sacrifice people for him. He's not gonna, he's gonna indirectly get someone killed. So relax and just trust me. Which means when he does that, I'm killing him. All right, then let's get started before you cockroaches change your damn minds. First, each of you gotta grab a helmet and plant your ass in one of those seeds. Okay, fine. With me as instructing us, we got in position around the computer. Yeah. Maki looks completely uninterested in everything. You couldn't even color cord on me, you come on, girl. <laughs> At least throw around some fancy techno jargon. <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't probably mind, let's be real here. Oh my god. Well, it looked like the red was on the right, blue on the left. Hey, look. It's like I was just looked at the picture and just assumed. <laughs> Don't fucking switch the cords. Not fucking stupid. Who's stupid enough to do that? Oh, Gonda. Yeah, dude, try not to. Oh god, I, this is interesting. I don't know. I don't like this layoff. I just... Something's sketchy. Something bad's gonna happen. And I just wanted the love hotel key. 
Oh, what if someone I want? What if Maki dies? No. Oh, I should be pissed. After some fiddling around, we were all hooked up to the device. Then you just gotta put the helmet on your head. Finally press the button near your temple and you'll be whisked away to the virtual world. Paradise more beautiful than the real world where there's no murder and no Monokuma. So Gonta press a button, avatar, person take Gonta to virtual world place. Oh, for the love of, yeah, sure, whatever, makes sense to you. By the way, I tweaked your avatars to make them resemble you guys. In fact, compared to your current looks, they're a major improvement. Congrats, Himiko, you don't need to pay for expensive plastic surgery anymore. I never wanted plastic surgery, I like my face. That's pro. <laughs> yeah. I'm still nervous about this. Ah, oh, just shut up, you and fucking do it already, four eyes, jeez. Alright, everybody, let's go. I better have been enhanced. I could use it for a smaller nose. I have a gigantic fucking nose. And we can't ignore a chance to discover clues about the outside world. Yes. Let's go. No, I don't like that. I placed the helmet on my head and after a deep breath, turned on the switch. And then... I'm fucking out of it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> I'm hacking into this thing. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Neo World program. Thank you. Glad to be here. Neo World program. Well, I mean, if it's anything like the uh, other one, it's just going to be like almost, you know, indistinguishable. In an instant, we were standing in the other world. Yeah, we were there. What the hell? What the fuck? What the hell is this? Oh my god, it's adorable looking though. This is... So this is the virtual world. Seems like it's uh, completely different from what we were told. These graphics are really disappointing. How is this supposed to be better than the real world? These avatars are really disappointing too. I wanted to have the face of a supermodel. I thought you liked your face. I still have a robot body. I must admit, I was secretly expecting more. God, why is my dick just... <laughs> so you were hoping for a change, Kibo. It feels weird. I can move this uh, avatar like I could move my own body, right? And with this body, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. What stuff? Oh, no, it's nothing. Oh, hey, Maki. How you, how you doing? I'm gonna go back. That was quick. I like the art style. It's it's fine. Oh, so this is the virtual world. I see, I see. It's my avatar. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I get it now. <laughs> what did you do that for? Oh, so that hurt? Oh, well, now that you mention it, I felt a genuine pain just now. That's pretty impressive. If you felt pain, that means our senses are connected. Our senses are connected. Yahoo! This place is so great. I can't. I come here all the time. It's way better than the real world. Hola! The heck are you talking about, you fraud? I think it's cute looking. I wouldn't mind spending time here. Hey! It's totally different from what you said. Plus, this avatar has disappointing graphics. Graphics aren't everything. Hey! Your looks are nothing to write home about. Trust me, you look a billion times better now. What? Anyway, what do you mean our senses are connected? I need an explanation. Uh, didn't I tell you? <laughs> it means that this goes way beyond the realm of virtual reality. We are actually connected. We get it, you can- so stop hitting me. No can do, even if they are avatars, I could never hit a person. Even here I can escape from your robophobia. How are our senses set up? When your avatar receives any sensory input, electrical signals are sent to your brain. Your brain then interprets these signals as if you're the, experiencing that sensory input for real. Goddamn, this is the Matrix. 
So even if you're not really getting punched, the brain seems senses pain because of these signals. Ah, since it won't leave any bruises, you can hit all you want. That's a bully's and twisted logic. Oh, why are bodies like this? This Kimiko's magic. Well, there's a lot of things going on right now, but you don't have to worry, Ganta. So how exactly are we supposed to find the secret of the outside world? We don't even know where to start looking. First, we need to learn more about this world. Is there a map available? Yeah, I've got a map, but first I gotta give you a quick warning about this world. A warning, you need to be quicker on the draw like st with stuff like that. I'm pretty qu I'm plenty quick on the draw, but not not too quick, because then you can't pull out in time. True statement. Oh my god. A girl after my own fucking heart, even though she doesn't want you to pull out. If you're her childhood friend. Shut up. I wonder what the rules for this place could be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is... Fuck everyone else that's saying this world sucks. You guys can go to fucking hell. Um, I thought she was actually following me. What the hell are you doing, Maki? Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, come on. This is so much better than the real world. So what do you want to tell, have to tell us, Miyu? Well, it's not that big of a deal, but there is a special rule to this world. Objects here are unbreakable. Interesting. Objects don't break? In the virtual world, there are no rules that govern whether objects can break. Is there gravity? So any objects, no matter what it is, can never be broken. For example, if you stretch a rubber band far enough, it'll eventually tear, you know? But here, the rubber band would just uh, stop stretching at a certain point and just not tear at all. I'm surprised she added the band part to it. For the same reason, your avatars can't get injured. You'll still feel pain, though. See, I told you it's not a big deal. What are you talking about? That's a really big deal. You gotta tell us stuff like that before. That's not a big deal. Sorry. But that's the only special thing in every other sense. The physics here are the same. Oh wait, that's right. There's a special thing about the avatars, too. There's still more. Spit it out already. Shut the fuck up, Himiko. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's special about the avatars? To make things fair, everyone's avatar in this world has the same average uh, physical strength. Does that mean there is no discernible difference in our physical abilities? So is this uh, virtual world, I'm just as strong as Ganta? What Ganta weaker? That uh, also cause of Himiko's magic? No, if Ganta not strong, Ganta no can protect everyone. It's not my fault, that's just how the world is. Are those the only things different about this world, Miyu? Yeah, that's everything. By the way, how do you, we log off from this world? Oh yeah, that's right, I need to tell you that. If you ever want to log out, you just need to use that phone over there. Oh my god, it is the fucking Matrix. Stop. Just pick it up and say your name. That's simple enough for you shitheads. This is, this could not be any closer to the Matrix if it fucking tried. This is as close as you can get without being copyrighted. Also, that phone is fixed and can't be removed from that room. Which means you have to use this room to log in and out. And whenever you log in, you'll always appear in this room. Okay, got it. You guys better not cheat by logging out alone. We have to find the secret of the hit, uh, outside world. Yeah, we got it. So where's the map? The map is posted on the wall inside this room. Follow me. Cool. This is... I'm, I'm loving this virtual world. I'm gonna be honest here. This is fun. I, I would definitely... This would be a fun world to be in and just play around with. Look, there's the map I prepared for you guys. Yeah Study and you'll know the virtual world like Sumigi it knows the back of her neck. What? What about the back of my neck? How did you know that spot's sensitive? Oh, I see. The back of your neck, huh? Why are you so interested in that? You, you're gross. Yeah, that's nice. You Anything else, Miyu? Didn't I tell you the map's right there? Hurry the fuck up, blue balls. Well, I mean, there is a way to fix that issue if you really are concerned about it. There are two maps posted here, one big, one small. I'll look at the latter. This map has mansion written on it. This is the map of the mansion, which is the building we're in right now. This area is the entrance hall, and that room uh, with the phone is the salon. The dining hall, kitchen, and bathroom are also on the first floor. There's no second floor, but I do see a roof uh, top access. The roof, huh? I guess that'll give us a good view. Let's go check it out later. 
Yeah, good idea. It's a really nice place. But before we do, I should look at the big map as well. How's the squiggle? Looks like a map of the entire virtual world. Listen up, shitheads. Make sure you remember everything about this world. It looks pretty expansive, and it even continues past the river. Is this an ellipsis here, showing that it continues? Ah. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you that that sign means later. We all understand once you actually go there. What else could she? What could she mean by that? Oh, oh there's another building here. Oh. Yeah, it's just a dinky chapel. It was a cluttered mess in there. Yeah. A lot of stuff, huh? Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in there. Oh, I just noticed there are black lines drawn around the world map. I thought that was just, you know, the frame. Does that mean anything? <laughs> How nice of you to notice. Of course it means something. This black line represents a wall. A wall? See, so yeah, the virtual world is actually surrounded by a huge ass wall. Surrounded by a wall, are we trapped even in this world? No, we're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world. Literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. How do you know? I see, so that wall is the end of the world. By the way, Miyu, you prepared these maps yourself. Not Monokuma, right? That's right, I prepared the maps. What about it? No, it's nothing. I just wanted to know. What? There was something off about Miyu's response. She probably just found the maps and it's like, yeah, that's right. Come yeah. on. We should be focusing on the more important issues right now. Yeah, what in the world, uh, where in this world the secret of the outside world is hidden? But it's gotta be pretty hard to find something when we have no clue what we're looking for. Where do you think you're going? I was gonna go investigate alone. There's a lot of interesting stuff I want to check out. Like hell, I'm gonna let you do whatever you want. Whatever I want? And why do I need your permission, Kaido? I'm free to do whatever I want. I'm doing no matter what you guys... I'm going no matter what you guys say. Well, I'd be a hassle if someone kept watch over me. Kept watch? Gon does not understand what's going on. Gon does not sure how helpful he can. But Ganta can watch Kokichi, so he not do anything weird. Okay, that, no, Ganta's gonna end up killing someone because Kokichi's gonna tell him that's how you save people. <laughs> Ganta, you're so sweet, but I knew you'd say that. Oh, God. This is never something good. Even without your ridiculous strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous. You'd make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard. <laughs> and with you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay, okay then. Let's go. Yeah, this is a trap. Oh, wait, Kokichi. It's okay, leave it to Gonta. Gonta, keep an eye on Kokichi. Bodyguard, you mean Gonta? Seems he planned this all along. Jeez, he really knows how to manipulate people. Whatever, let's go check out the rooftop. Alright, follow me. If you want to peek up my skirt while you're at it, go for it. Wait, is that programmed in too? <laughs> this is... Oh god, you can just walk- oh, this is... Oh, this is great. I didn't even say that. I did something about... That fucking backlog takes too long to pull up. This is the bathroom. Fuck you, game. Do avatars have to go to the bathroom? Well, there's something shiny over here. It's no uh, normal. Toilet paper, I don't see anything suspicious about it. But in a world where nothing breaks, does toilet paper not tear either? Do avatars have to use the bathroom? If so, this is an important question. Oh god, that would be so fucking awkward. Uh, I can't, I can't tear this. It's perforated, but it's fucking me. What strange clock is this Mew's taste? No, it can't be. This world was originally crafted by Hanakuma. Should check out the roof. No, I want to go in here, though. Oh, this is fun. This is awesome. I love it. This is going to be so much fun to go around in. Until someone fucking dies in here. 